my message to the annual meetings here is that uh, we expect uh, that the contribution of EBRD uh, should be significant, uh, that uh, there are areas where the EBRD can contribute to uh, this transition uh, through uh, helping development of the private sector, through helping diversification, improving competitiveness. The EBRD cannot just translate and uh, the experience that it had in Central Eastern European and Eastern uh, and Central Asia to Southern Mediterranean because they have a different history, they have a different context, uh, but there are lessons to be learned. When EBRD was created in the 90s and the transformation in Central Eastern European, there was a lot of focus in, in creating a market economy in terms of liberalizing the economy, in terms of privatizing the, the assets and so on. It is not that this is not important today in the uh, Northern African uh, countries, but it is less significant because this process of liberalization and privatization has been going on for the last 30 years. So this is not, cannot be the main focus of EBRD to say, okay, let's liberalize, let's privatize, and then this is our contribution. No, that is not, and actually it, my message might be counterproductive because it's not taking into consideration what has been happening. So on the other hand, by saying we want to develop the private sector, we want to develop a competitive private sector, that's a good contribution. That's relevant today. We have talked about the uh, interaction between the economic transformation and the political transformation. And we can learn a lot from the experience in the Central Eastern European countries. We know, broadly speaking, that countries we have succeeded in the political transformation have also succeeded in economic transformation and vice versa. The countries which did not succeed in the political transformation have had a much more difficult time. And I think this is an important lesson to learn and to see why and how this can be used that experience in terms of the southern Mediterranean countries. This interaction, this two-way street, is extremely important. And we can learn and we can enrich the debate about it. There is a lot of excitement about the EBRD in terms of its contribution to the Tunisian context. Uh, it has a new experience, new, unique expertise, and uh, I think it operates differently from the other uh, international financial institutions. They are down to uh, real business. And uh, I think uh, there is every reason to think it will be successful and can have a good contribution.